So what have I got for you guys today? Well, by the title you probably already know, but I'm going to be showing you anyways. So I actually, this just got in today, I just got done with classes like 30 minutes ago and it shipped and I'm like, yes, it's here, I can do it between classes. So I have about 30 minutes-ish before I have to go back, so we're good. Now I've kind of already started just to get all the boring stuff out of the way. I'll still go over it, like just kind of tell you what to do here and there, but then all the rest of this stuff, um, it's gonna, you're gonna need some help with it. But all the rest, oh my gosh, I'm white. I'm like an angel, I'm like an angel. All right, we're just gonna keep this on auto. Anyways, so all the rest of it is kind of the more uh, complicated stuff. So anyways, uh, as you can see, I took off the wipers already. There's left, there's right. And all you had to do was, there's a little, like, um, there's a little cat thing, this, right here. So you see that, you pop that out, and then there's a two, both of them are 14 millimeter on each side, so you loosen that up, and then you'll pop, you'll pull the actual wipers out. That way, you can actually pull off this like plastic looking cowl thing, whatever. And actually, it is split into two parts. As you can see, there's a split right there. So anyways, anyways, uh, moving on. After that, there will be a little plastic thing right here, a little uh, clip on this side as well. So take both of those out. That way, you can actually take this out. And then, if you just like, just kind of go like this, press the whole thing. There's some clips you need to pop out, and that needs to stay inside. Okay, that keeps popping out. Anyways, so now to get this out, as you can see, when you try to pull this, it's already getting caught. So that's why there's a split there. So you can basically just kind of like, I might need to hold on. Probably gonna need two hands. Just gonna break that apart. This plastic rubber stuff is still gonna be there. So just kind of like fold that over to this side and bam, that's out. You have this metal cowl thing. You need to get that out. But before you do that, you actually need to, you see that uh, this motor thing? That's actually for the uh, windshield wiper, like the fluid or whatever. Or no, sorry, that's that I lied. That's to make the wipers like go back and forth. Anyway, so you're gonna take out this bolt right here, which is a 10, so all, all the rest of these are gonna be 10 millimeter. The only 14s are the actual windshield wiper uh, bolts. And then you're gonna take out this bolt right here. So one and two. And that will just release this and you pull that over here and let that set. You don't need to unhook anything else. So I have my 10 millimeter here with the little adapter thing. And we will just back this. This is a really hard angle, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so what I think might be easier instead of using this one since it's at an angle and you're twisting is to get something like this. Or if you have a, um, a uh, impact wrench or something like that, then just use that. But I think this will work a lot better. Since it's vertical. Yeah, this is gonna be better. So I'll use the other one just to break it loose and then just use this to loosen it up all the way to where you can just hand do it. That is actually really still tight. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, I believe, yep, yep, just take this, slide it to the left, just a little bit, maybe, and just kind of work it out. And actually, yeah, yeah. So this is gonna stay right there for now. But next is, since you have that finished now, you have, I think, nine. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, eight, eight or nine, whatever. However many bolts there are, I can't count right now. Okay, there's, there's nine, there's, there's nine, there's nine bolts. Nine bolts you need to undo. 10, 10 millimeter. So I'm hoping this angle is like pretty good. I can't really like, I don't want, I don't know where my tripod is right now. So I'm just having it on the front end of the car right here. So hopefully it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get my 10 millimeter and start undoing all these. All 
right, so finally got that done. If you do have an impact, use that. <laughs> my, my wrist is like, it's, it's, it's gone, it's gone. Now that we have that out, our, all is unscrewed. Is there, I think, is there one more? I might be, oh, uh, I forgot one more. Now we should be able to pull that out. Is there another, is there a clip right there? Hold on. No, okay, all right, I was confused. Okay, so I just figured out that um, that little motor thing, because you have to pull this out, and this little deal right here to actually get the power to the motor, you just undo that. That way you can actually take that out and move that out of the way. And I'm not sure like how this is coming, how this comes out or whatever, but this can like unclip or whatever. I couldn't figure. I I'm, I don't know. I felt like I was gonna break it. I didn't want to deal with it. So I just you just need to have access to these two or three bolts depending on your uh, strut bar. So on each side. So, I mean, you can take this off if it's gonna bother you or not. Um, but for me, I mean, as long as I have access, you just need to undo those. These are actually 14 millimeter bolt bolts, not uh, 10, how I lied. Uh, I thought they were 10 throughout, but they're actually 14. So, you gotta just take those two out, take this little metal piece out, same thing on that side, and yeah. So fortunately, my strut bar that I have Oh, I said this is 14, not 10. Fortunately, mine are only uh, these these two, not three. So that's one of the stuff I have to deal with. And these are probably really hard to do. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. 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 Here we go. There's one. Oh my god. Okay. There's 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 two. Okay. Why was that one so easy? Why was that one so easy to do? Why was that so loose? That wasn't, that's not a good thing. Jeez. <laughs> oh, and boom. Okay. Take that out. Probably won't need this ever again. It probably would be easier to take this off, but I don't know how to do it. <laughs> it doesn't want to come off. All right, I'm not really sure why that one was so hard to do, but it was really hard to do. Hit this. Bam, bam, bam. It is not the one where it like, like, break, like, bends right there there's like some some of them have a little bend right there those are usually the three whole ones but this one's all all welded together both ends so this end as well as that end this bolt you just took off you're gonna put back on if your shut bar come with came with washers which it probably should uh obviously mine has four so you're gonna put those on and put the bolts back on and just do everything back in reverse so since i did not take this metal piece off um this part is so flimsy by the way anyways so i'm gonna put this side on first and then just lift that up and put the other side on uh i guess kind of like that so maybe sorry wait hold on wait wait let's just move this here josh where are you at when i need you <laughs> okay so i think that went on pretty good i think that actually fell right in place actually Yes, it, it kind of did. So we will get our 14 millimeter. Make sure it's on Titan. So I'm gonna loosen it. And I'm gonna get this back. One first. I know you probably, you guys probably cannot see this right now. And now it's just a matter of put tightening these bolts back on. Again, just getting down to where they're just tight enough. Good to go. Bam, that's it. Now we just put everything back together. I'm surprised I actually got this done that much. All right. I feel, <laughs> I feel like I just did this for like nothing. I don't know why. Cause I, I hate when like you have to take so much stuff off or whatever. And you know, in, in general. And you put on this one little piece. This one little piece. You did all that. Just for that. I'm not saying this was a lie. It probably went a heck of a lot faster. It had that impact, like I said, but that's okay. It's all right. I'm learning. We're learning. You're watching me learn. I'm watching you learn. Not really. 
but I will update you guys later and tell you how it drives and everything. So I will see you in like half a second. We got everything back together. Uh, it is, everything is fine. Also one thing to mention is that the this plastic part right here, okay? So when you put this back together, I totally forgot about this. Like I thought it was being a, like a perfect fit, everything. I totally forgot, and I it said this even in the instructions, is that um, because these, this part right here, this little piece, and this little piece, but mainly this one, uh, well, I guess mainly both of them, they come in contact with the bar, and it's gonna raise this part up a little bit. Um, also make sure that those are pushed down, <laughs> and everything's okay. Uh, because these are two separate pieces. They're still not exact because of this, um, but you can trim that down, both of those. Um, they're not really needed. I don't know, you just have to work with it. I mean, this hood still closes and everything's fine. I close the uh, hood here. Okay, so when I close the hood, it's gonna hit that rubber part first because it's raised up. So you're gonna hear that, but it still goes in. It's just a little bit more tough to push in. And when you pop the hood, it's gonna bounce a little extra, so like that just because of that pressure oh, I'm probably gonna trip it down soon or when it kind of warms up again so but like I said for now it's fine I will make sure to have the exact one I used in the description below I bought it off of Amazon and it is a DC sports strut bar it comes with the bar itself which is welded and it comes with four wash four wash not not four wash four washers and it comes with two stickers two dc sports stickers look at the, look at these dirty hands look at this look at this. anyway so that is all i have for you and if you have any questions just ask me it's pretty simple it took like i don't know 20 minutes 30 minutes at most 45 at most really with filming because that takes up some time but if you do it by yourself and you have an impact like i don't then it'll take you like 20 minutes tops like legit so if, if it's your first time but hopefully you'll be watching this video so anyways peace out guys see you in the next video yeah,